I love international beauty. I love trying new things. And I also love inexpensive drugstore prices because if I don't have to spend more than I need to, by golly gosh, I am not going to. Simultaneously, I have unfortunately ended up purchasing fakes or counterfeit products or even dupes online in search of good skincare deals and bargains. And when it comes to K-Beauty, they have some of the most amazing formulas, but unfortunately, some of the best brands that are available in Korea, such as one that we're gonna talk about here, oh, and a cactus serum that we're gonna talk about, they're not readily available in the US. And on top of that, there are a lot of K-Beauty products that are often knocked off or ripped off by companies that are not authentic K-Beauty, but that just want your money and try to package up these products to make it look like the authentic K-Beauty thing, but end up being different. We are going to be trying some of the top selling K-Beauty products that most people have never heard of, just because these brands are indie, they're not big enough to kind of get overseas. And it's thanks to Credithink that this is possible because they actually vet products and get them over here without the fakes. Credithink is also partnering with us on this video, but we're gonna speak about that a little bit later. Think of Credithink as like the Sephora of K-Beauty that is available online. And like they have a really good indie section. And when I say that like, things online have gotten sketchy, this is something that I feel people need to be aware of. News publications like Healthline and BBC have actually covered stories about people finding rat feces in counterfeit cosmetic products or finding adulterated things with heavy metals such as mercury. And obviously if any brand is popular and somewhat expensive, there are going to be other people who don't have our consumer best intentions in mind and want to rip those off or counterfeit them. And that is why this is of the utmost importance to make sure that that kind of stuff doesn't get on my face. Fun fact, you know that I do shop from Amazon. It is one of the things that is convenient and accessible to me. And I have purchased a lot of Pyongyang Yule from Amazon. And I believe that I have gotten a fake. It smelled funny. It felt funny. It was not the authentic product that I normally got. And that's when I realized not all products on this platform are bad, but not all of them are good. And you really have to look at who that supplier is. I do want to mention that where you get your products does matter. And looking at reviews, making sure that they are legit, it's very important because that can help you be a more safe and protected consumer. All of these are from Credithink, which I first thought was a bank. I don't know, Credithink makes me be like, hmm, think about good credit, like manifest, you know, an Asian credit score. I don't know, but they're actually a K-beauty curator. The founder is obsessed with indie beauty and he had this whole idea of wanting to bring people authentic K-beauty that people elsewhere in the world just hadn't heard about. And if you're, you know, a huge brand that has millions upon millions of dollars, you can put your brand into international markets. You can pay for that shipping and you can pay for all of those logistics and all of the things that go into bringing a brand overseas. But for really small brands who don't have that kind of luxury or that kind of money, he basically said, I wanna take the best selling products in Korea that can't afford to go overseas because they are priced appropriately. And I wanna bring that to people who want to try them. And hi, hello, that person is absolutely me. When looking online, I wanted to build myself an entire K-beauty skincare routine. And knowing that I have amazing team members, amazing friends and family members and subscribers and Patreon and Discord butterflies that we may or may not do little skincare gifts with, I realized that even if some of these don't work for me, there are definitely people that I can share them with. So even if they don't work for my skin, they're not gonna be going to waste. When I first started picking out these products, I wanted every step of a routine and I wanted these to be okay for my acne and blemish prone skin. I wanted them to be relatively gentle so they're not going to aggravate skin. But then if you want to add something like an exfoliating acid or if you wanted to add a hyperpigmentation serum, I or someone else could really easily swap out one product for something with an active or add an active in. But this is like a really good K-beauty base, where if you just want something that works, that's inexpensive, that has a lot of fun things that again, most people haven't heard of, that is what I was on the hunt to find. Especially on Amazon, you wanna see who the seller is. So again, the seller that I'm looking for is Credithink because they curate all of these things and they are certified to make sure that they're not selling any fakes. The second thing you wanna look for are those reviews. Make sure that you're actually reading those reviews underneath the product so that if someone else says, oh, it smelled funny or it looks fake or the packaging doesn't look authentic, you can catch that because I didn't realize until recently, there are many people who can be Amazon sellers, but that doesn't mean that they're all vetted or that they're all Amazon approved or that they're all legit. You also wanna look for those photos. You wanna make sure that the photos are high quality and it doesn't look like something was Photoshopped with literally another logo plastered onto it. When we tried some fake ordinary products, oh boy, like the Photoshop was bad. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. 
How would they know? And then also look at the shipping times. You know, there are some authentic products that can take six to eight weeks to come. But if something is on Amazon Prime, that probably means it's somewhere local to you and can actually be shipped out. And what was amazing about this is that you guys know I love getting my K-beauty from overseas. That's something I enjoy, but it does take lots of time and it is expensive. And these all came within two days, which um, I don't know why there was so much amazing K-beauty in my general vicinity in the San Francisco Bay area, but I am very, very happy about it. So before we talk about cactus serums, lab-based beauty, and even sunscreens, we got to talk about why washing the face. This is an oil cleanser that's supposed to be excellent for dry skin. This is the iUnique Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil, and it's a 94% oil that's supposed to be deep cleansing for all skin types. Now this also gets into what I have been struggling with. I have naturally oily, acne prone skin, high pimple right there and here and here and here. But at the same time, especially as going into fall and winter, I've noticed that I'm super oily in some areas, but I've actually been getting dry patches of irritation. I haven't spoken about this a ton, but with the stress of the pandemic and a whole bunch of other things that were happening in my life, I had flares of eczema and psoriasis, which I've never had before, specifically behind my ears and my scalp, and then also on my knees and kind of, you know, some of the folds of my skin. And that has been really frustrating. And on top of that, I'm not getting like psoriasis flares on my face, but I have been getting these little dry patches. And there's also some changes going on with my hair, as well as around here with some telangiectasia. And my father has rosacea. I got my surface level hemoglobin tested, and right now it looks like I've got stage one. So it's all very interesting and it definitely goes to show how your body and your immune system really play so much into your health. It might also be the weather. It's been <laughs> literally on fire here in California, like legit on fire. And then it goes into like this weird rainy weather. And then hi, I'm very guilty of taking hot showers that burn the flesh off my bones. If it doesn't burn, I don't love it. Food and hygiene. Thank you. But this right here, I have heard great things about. And this is one brand that you might have actually heard of, iUnique. I've used a couple of their things before, but the first two products that I got are from them because I thought these would be decent for my skin type. And so far, this has been magical. This complete cleansing oil has been like a leveled up version of the Trader Joe's jojoba. This does have jojoba, but it also has sunflower oil and it also has macadamia. This is a really lovely cleansing oil that doesn't sit on your skin and make it feel overly greasy with things like pure jojoba oil or any pure oil, it can kind of stay and sit on the face, but this actually gets a little bit milky and it cleans off my sunscreen and my waterproof mascara at the end of the day, but it doesn't overly strip my skin. And for the price, this one has been lovely. Now iUnique also has this, which whoo, my acne prone skin has fallen in love with. As you can see, I've had a couple little blemishes and I have been switching up my skincare for the first weeks of November. Been trying to stick to my 28 day skincare challenge, but for November, I just don't think it's happening. October went well, October was good but here we are. This is the iUnique Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam, and oh my God, I love this. If you have acne, if you struggle with breakouts and you want K-Beauty, this might be a favorite. This is a really nice foaming cleansing foam, but you know, a lot of people are afraid of foaming cleansers because they're like, oh, it has sulfates or something. It's gonna strip my skin. And for someone who's really sensitive, maybe, you don't have to be afraid of sulfates, but if someone wants to avoid them, get a pump top like this. This pump top actually aerates the product, so you get that foamy look without actually having to use those sulfates that some people want to avoid. This is super foamy and super wonderful, especially for acne prone skin because of the centella in here. It's a really wonderful antioxidant. It's extraordinarily soothing to skin. And this also has tea tree. This has a blend of tea tree, rice bran, and licorice. All of these are amazing because of their antioxidant properties, but tea tree really helps with blemishes because it has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. Licorice in here is wonderful, especially for dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And then this rice is super soothing. And this is not, you know, something that's going to like knock pimples out of the park. Like this is not for like majorly cystic acne, but this is something that is really, really nice. It's pH balanced. And you know that water is the universal solvent. It's in almost every single skincare product, but the main ingredient here isn't just water. It's Centella Asiatica leaf water, which is basically this tiger grass, this Sika that everybody loves. And um, let me just say, we love it for a reason. Now, where am I going to wipe this? I swear to God, I have the most moisturized carpet. Here you go. 
clean. This right here is a hyaluronic acid toner that my skin cannot get enough of. And this is something that I'd honestly never heard of. This is The Lab, and apparently it's The Lab by like Blanc Du or Blanc Dukes. I don't know, is that French? Is it Korean? Nobody's responsibility to teach me another language, but please help, because I don't know how to say this and I'm trying. But this is from The Lab, and I've just started testing this, but oh my goodness, does this absorb nicely. If you are someone who is more sensitive to hyaluronic acid and you haven't been able to use it in the past because it's irritated your skin, I have found this to absorb so quickly and so well. This is actually the number one selling product in a store called Olive. There's basically a Korean store that's kind of like a Sephora or an Ulta, and it's not here inside of America. I think it's called Olive Young, and it's basically the it place in Korea. And oh my goodness, if I ever get the chance to go to South Korea, that is where I'm going to do a shop with me. But again, a lot of the brands that are at Olive Young don't get sent to other places in the world because the brands are too small to be able to afford it. So Credit Think makes it happen. But this one from the lab is a hyaluronic acid toner that penetrates without irritating. This is specifically the Alego Hyaluronic Acid 5000. The 5000 Daltons refers to the actual molecular size of this and how well it penetrates. Now, there's a lot of things online that say like hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. It really depends. Usually that's closer to 50. But if there's a hyaluronic acid that penetrates that doesn't seem to irritate, this so far has been it for me. Now, again, I've never heard of the lab before, but I really loved this. They also had a sunscreen like cushion product that I'm thinking of trying. But for someone who has struggled to get actual hydration, like water into the skin and then moisturize and seal it in, this I feel like is an excellent toner to do so. And again, I've just started using it, so I am going to continue. But the reason that I just started using this is because I have been using this. And oh my God, has this blown away my expectations. This reminds me of the very expensive, very luxurious SK2, but it is slightly different. The SK2 is honestly quite more liquidy. This is a little bit thicker, and this one actually has a better story behind it. This is from Jin Jung Sung. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's the Soothing Moisture Skin Essence, and oh my God, my skin freak -a deacon loves this. We brought the freak -a deacon back. Like, that's when you know it's real, when you see the forehead line and the freak -a deacon. This was actually made by a guy who had super sensitive skin who wanted to become an actor. He was super passionate about acting, but his skin was so sensitive, it would get red, he would get breakouts and irritation, and he never was able to make it as an actor because of how bad his skin was. So he started working in cosmetic chemistry, trying to understand formulas and do something that could help his skin, and he absolutely fell in love with products and ingredients, and he ended up creating this. And I think he knew about it for like 13 years before he shared it with other people, but it essentially allowed him to soothe his skin. And when I got this online, I was like, okay, this looks like a fancy bottle. Like, are they just charging way too much for this and like putting a stupid story on it? Because you know, there are some other products out there that say like, oh, we watched people and their hands were in wine and all of a sudden Basaki from the wine made their hands beautiful, pay us $200. And I'm like, yeah. Not gonna happen. Not today, Cheryl. But oh my God, I have fallen in love with this. And while I don't think it's a dupe for some of those other brands, this is definitely something that I actually think is better, both from a pricing perspective and from how it feels on the face. Like, you have to see this. It is like this nice jelly and it comes out so silky smooth. It almost reminds me of snail mucin without the, you know, exploitation of the snails. And we actually have a video on snail mucin coming soon because found out some things about that. But if you're going into winter, you're struggling with dry or irritated skin, oh my God, this one is so nice. This formula is amazing. And yes, it has things like hyaluronic acid and beta-glucans, but it also has vegan collagen. It has different peptides in it. It has adenosine, it has niacinamide, and they're all in this very beautiful K-beauty packaging, but also in this beautiful K-beauty formula that doesn't feel like it's harassing your skin. You know how like we love certain brands with very strong actives, but sometimes it kind of feels like they harass your face. This is gentle, yet it delivers. And oh my gosh, I, I absolutely love this one. And what good is an essence without a serum? Now this one, whew, this cactus one has blown my mind. This is called the Inner Skin Moisture Bouncy Serum from Wamisa. It's called Wamisa Fresh, like wham, bam. Wamisa. I don't know exactly, but this cactus serum is such a cool texture. This cactus serum, I actually believe, has cactus in it. Do you see when I pull the serum out? It has like this string. It almost looks like 
snot or a loogie, but like a very skin loving loogie. And it has this gelatinous texture that absorbs into skin well, but it almost creates this hydrated barrier on my face. And I, <laughs> I was like kind of freaked out about it because it's green and it looks like snot and has the consistency of it, but then it absorbs so well. And then it gives my skin an antioxidant boost underneath sunscreen. Do you see that? Do you see how that is just, it is perplexing and jiggly and I love it. This also comes from this brand called Wamisa and fun fact that other people won't tell you probably because most people don't know, Wamisa is actually where Glow Recipe makes their products and formulations. And I love me some Glow Recipe. Some of their formulas are my favorite, but they can be very heavily fragranced. Some are hit and some are miss, you know, but I love Glow Recipe and to find out that, oh, this is the Wamisa company that's kind of behind that as well as many of the other KB beauty brands that are so popular, why don't people pay more attention to the Wamisa brand itself? Cactus is extraordinarily soothing. It has antioxidants. It can help with skin's moisture, retention, and shine. We love it. And cactus actually has a lot of water in it. Technically, aloe vera is a succulent, not a cactus, but we love aloe vera for skin. Why aren't we paying more attention to other cactuses or cacti, plural, cacti? Mooses, moose. Uterus, uteri, plural things. <laughs> Cacti are phenomenal, and why aren't we putting them more on our skin? The serum especially says that it helps to improve skin texture, skin glossiness, and skin elasticity. And to find something that has these innovative ingredients that kind of does this kind of natural packaging, but that doesn't shove clean beauty down your throat because they actually have some studies and some clinical trials on here. Oh my goodness, we live for it. We live to put it on our face and in our pores. They do state that this one is also environmentally friendly, which I love, of course, vegan and cruelty free tested by actual people in science who care. And again, I can't get over this texture, this consistency. If you're someone who likes exciting textures, if you're looking for a really good, a slightly sticky, definitely hydrating, but easy to use serum that you can put on underneath your sunscreens throughout the day, look at how that goops. It doesn't feel overly sticky on the skin either, but it definitely holds sunscreen and moisturizers in place. Oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this and I cannot wait to use this a little bit more. Then, <gasps> I've never actually watched The Lion King, but I know that scene and that is how I feel about this product right here. This right here is another one of the top selling K-beauty products that most people have never heard of. This right here is the Supernatural Cream. It's from this brand called Lanbell and my skin has absolutely fallen in love with this. This right here had clinical experiments done on it and this is one of the fluffiest, nicest textures that I have ever used. Look at this, it is so cloud-like. I adore. This has glycerin, it has avocado oil, it has medical Aside, it has copper tripeptide one, it has panthenol, that vitamin B, and this is just such a soothing cream. Now, if you are extremely, extremely sensitive, and if you have like a legit allergy to plant actives, note that this does have very, very small amounts of thyme and rosemary and like lavender. I honestly, oopsies, got it in my nose, but I can't smell that at all on this, even if I do shove it up my nose. Um, it doesn't smell like that at all, it smells very pleasant and it's not irritated my skin, including the psoriasis patches on my knees where I do put this. This has been absolutely phenomenal. And if you're looking for a nice winter balm, you know, on my little dry areas, that is where I'm going to be applying these. This reminds me of some of those other balms. Like if you're someone who says, I don't wanna use Vaseline or I don't wanna use the CVS or Salimo Petrolatum Gel, it's just too greasy for me, but I want something that's an occlusive moisturizer that's just gonna lock everything in. This is absolutely it. This avocado oil, this glycerin, this blend, it doesn't suffocate skin, but like it locks everything in. And especially if you pair this over one of these two or both of these, oh my God, this is hydration heaven. Thank you very much. And what's really cool about this is that because the founder came from a chemistry background, she actually wanted to create something that not only worked, but that had the proof to back it up. And they did the 72 hour moisture persistence test to make sure that it actually moisturized skin for not just one day, not just two days, but for three days. I have not tried this for three days without anything else, so I cannot personally attest to that, but it's nice that they actually looked at skin layers to make sure that their product was actually doing the things that it claimed. They also did a clinical test for strengthening the skin barrier, as well as a skin irritation test, which is why I say if you have major allergies, be aware of the ingredients from plants in here, but in general, I find it to be very soothing, even on my psoriasis. And then they had a deep skin moisturizing test that was completed, and I do find that this is deeply moisturizing to my skin. And again, when it comes to my little dry patches, these are something 
something that are very new for me. I do wear tons of sunscreen. I do stay indoors. I do eat a plant-based diet. And hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, and other thyroid-related disorders do run in my family. My thyroid is low, but it is borderline. But my vitamin D levels are not where they should be. And sometimes those things can contribute to things like dry skin or hair loss. And then I also have one kidney. I have a duplex kidney, a solitary kidney. And the kidney and liver are heavily involved in making sure that your body can utilize vitamin D that comes from either the sun or nutritionally. And we're doing some more tests to find out what is going on with my one and only kidney. But along with increased stress, along with the beautiful biological process of aging, and along with just the weather changes, something is going on. So as I look into that more, as I actually look at my skin with some different diagnostic and clinical tools, I recognize that I need to support my skin in where it's at. And right now, I'm still very breakout prone, but I'm getting dry patches. So this has been a huge help. Now we can't forget SPF our BFF. And boy, did I find two favorites. Now this is from Make Prem. This is the one that I've always loved, but I feel like they've reformulated this. This is the Make Prem UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid. It's a lightweight sun fluid for face and body with SPF 50 PA++++++++. This used to be my favorite completely sheer sunscreen. Like it soaked into skin like a dream. I do think that they reformulated it, but I still really like this one. This is a beautiful lightweight texture that if you're looking for both UVA and UVB protection, this one makes me smile. Now, all of that being said, with this reformulation, again, we have a beautiful butterfly discord. We have a secret Patreon that gets people access to behind the scenes content of the chaos, as well as access to the discord. But some people in the discord were kind enough to try this. We have like a whole sunscreen channel and some people who have Fitzpatrick type six or are African American or have ebony skin has said that this no longer works for their skin. So you know that I had to get one that's a bit more sheer and that works for everybody. This one right here is the UV Defense Me Calming Stick and this is so fun for on the go. I love these little sticks. They remind me of when I was a child that I could play with glue and I would like, I don't know about you guys, I never ate glue, but I definitely like strung it between my fingers and put it on my face. This is like a non gluey sunscreen stick. And as you can see, it is completely sheer even on the darkest of skin tones. This is also the SPF 50 PA++++++ and I absolutely adore this. Both of these are very good and I would say that you can get both. I am trying both of them out, but you don't need both and you could get one depending on if you're more dry or more oily or if you like the stick formula for on the go versus if you want something that is more of a liquid, you have options and those options make us happy. I am going to be playing around with this one a little bit more, just seeing how it blends in and if this still works for you know all skin types. I still have a bottle of my old one, so maybe I can compare the old one to the new one. But overall, if you want something super sheer, travel friendly, really good for under makeup, it almost feels like a primer. This is great for on the go. And if you're looking for something that is more lightweight, that gives you kind of that dewy finish, this one gives you a little bit more of a glow, whereas this one, it's not mattified, but it definitely doesn't make you as shiny as this one. If you want that James Welsh K-Beauty Glow, then this is where you wanna be. But just keep in mind that for darker skin tones, you wanna make sure that you're getting a product that you can actually love, use, and enjoy because SPF is your BFF, but SPF can only be your BFF if it treats you right and respects you and you want to hang out with them every damn day. So finding the right sunscreen for you is essential. One of the scariest things when it comes to trying to purchase products online are these counterfeit products, especially counterfeit sunscreens. Now again, from Credit Think, none of these are counterfeit, but especially when purchasing sunscreens online, there have been sunscreen scandals in the past that either the brands didn't know that their products didn't hold up to the claims that they were making or they had to reformulate or, you know, some manufacturers that knew and just tried to push that under the rug. And even outside of those problems, there are retailers that are, again, not authentic and they're literally selling fake sunscreen products that probably don't have the SPF labeled the way that it should be. And they probably don't even have the right ingredients to protect the skin. And can you imagine, even if you're only spending 10 or 20 bucks on a sunscreen, buying a sunscreen, thinking it's legit, but it's fake, going into the sun and getting cumulative sun damage that can turn into melanoma or skin cancer. Sun damage is cumulative, meaning it builds over time, which is why protection is so important. And if there is one product that A, you need in your routine, it is sunscreen. And B, if there is one product that you need to make sure you're 
you're not getting a fake of, it is sunscreen. All of these things checked out for me and they checked out fast because they got here within two days. And Credi Think, it really is like a Sephora. Like they've curated all of these K-beauty things and they have brought them to me and my face and they take the guesswork out of all of that. It's been wonderful to partner with them on this video, but you're also going to be seeing these in some other updates, especially on that Patreon or on that Discord. And you know that I don't take partnerships unless it benefits the beautiful butterflies. So not only did I pick out all of these products myself, but I'm also giving some away to you. Do remember to be a critic and a skeptic, especially when looking online. Make sure that you are finding things that are legit and when in doubt, ask it out. Like the entire beautiful butterfly community is here to help each other. So join the Patreon or the Discord or jump on Instagram and tag at Cassandra Approved and say, hey, is this suspicious or is this legit? And myself, one of our amazing team members, or maybe even someone from the beautiful butterfly community will get back to you. Do always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Always remember to reapply your SPF and be beautiful both inside and out. I love you butterflies and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.